Hello, in this video I will present the Bluetooth Low Energy Sensor Tag application. Once the application is successfully inst installed on your personal computer and the sensor tag is powered up, you must pair the sensor tag with the PC. All the pairing process was described in a previous post. The Bluetooth Low Energy Sensor Tag application have the following functionality. First, to set, communicate, use and display the information from the sensors included on all known sensor tags. Like here. Second, in the development mode, the software provides the users with a lot of messages obtained from the communication process with the sensor tag. These messages enable the user to identify the communication configuration setbacks and some other problems. Third, the software also gives the possibility to interrogate different type of unknown Bluetooth low energy devices. In order to be able to obtain in to obtain the complete get attribute table for an unknown Bluetooth low energy device. Fourth, to obtain the optimal Kalman filter parameters. Fifth, and the most exciting feature, the gadgets, particular application that use one or more sensors from the sensor tag to achieve a concrete, fully functional and useful application. Now only four gadget applications are implemented. In the following, I will present only the basic feature of the application. Set communicate, use and display the information from the sensors embedded on a specific sensor tag. Other features will be presented in subsequent posting and movie. The main graphic interface have several zones. The sensor data region, the connectivity region and a general area where multiple features su such as configuration, protocol analysis, unknown device interfacing and ap application gadget are presented. In order to configure and get data from a sensor tag, first you must to press the refresh sensor tag button. In this mode, the list of all Bluetooth low ener energy devices will be updated. From this list, select the required type of device. Each specific device has a different type and number of sensors embedded on it. This fact is reflected in the information presented on the user interface. And in the end, select the specific device with which you want to communicate. For example, for this specific type of sensor tag, CC2650, two different devices are connected to the PC. The first one is this, and the second one is this. Now, having a certain type of Bluetooth Low Energy device chosen, we need to configure it. 
Here you can see all the six sensors existing on the sensor tag. Accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer, temperature, barometer and humidity. Each sensor has additional options to configure different specific functions, such as dynamic range, acquisition period, or perhaps the unit of the measurement. For each sensor, you can you can update the sensor readings interval individually or in a global mode. For the individual mode, please uncheck this box. And so on. In the global mode setting, different type of constraint are considered. For example, for the IR temperature sensor, the period range cannot be less than 300 milliseconds. In this region, we have the elements to control the data save process. Even though the way to save data is very intuitive, Due to certain specific feature, we will detail this process in a later post. Okay, right now we forgot to let the button to work. In order to get the data for another device, you must first disconnect the actual sensor tag. And right now I will select the other sensor tag. Okay, sometimes we do not need all the sensors to be active. In this mode, we will save energy and will prolong the battery lives. In this, in this example, I will select only accelerometer, gyroscope, and K notification. This application can give you also graphs of the sensor readings. And now by shaking the sensor tag, you'll see the readings change. By double clicking on the graphic element, a new window opens. Here we have the possibility to show hide data trace, a specific data trace. We can change the data trace weight. Or the color. All these user selection are stored and on the next time when the user will use the application they will be the same.
going further with our demonstration to Thunderbolt React sensor tag, we will observe that this device has fewer sensors embedded, but has some very exciting features. Okay, we'll select all the sensors. For example, we have the the sensor the sensor tag provide to us directly the orientation angles, battery status, and UV index. For example, here we have zero degree, one hundred eighty degree, the positive values, the negative values, and if we spin the sensor tag, you observe here the data value changing. In graf graphical display mode, we notice that the light intensity, the blue line, correlate with the left axis values, while the UV index is correlated with the right values. This feature is presented on the other graphic representation of the sensor data, and it is mentioned in the upper part of the window. In the end, the Thunderbolt sense, it is a, an improved version of the Thunder, Thunderbolt React. Having the device connected to USB port, now the following features will be enabled. LED, the power LEDs and the indoor air quality sensor. Using this panel, now we can power on the LEDs change the color or the brightness In order to get your own copy of this application, please visit this link and get started with this application. To find more information related with the Bluetooth Low Energy Sensor Tag application, please visit this link and you will find all the information do you need to get started and to be able to use all of these software features. Thank you very much.